hello everyone. Uh, I'm Lonnie. I'm Amberlicious. And we are Untitled Nerd Network, uh, brought to you by Infinity Flux and your local Satanist out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Wow. I'll tell. Yeah. I'll, I'll explain that yeah. to y'all in a minute. Yeah, you might need to. Um, <laughs> we're here with the with all three members. Like I can't believe we were able to stuff everybody on screen. We did it. Of Nerdvana. You did it. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yes. Here we are, Nirvana. Yeah. So, uh, uh, all right. So, I want to, like, you know, I seen y'all on, you know, doing a show tonight. I was like, holy crap. I'm a huge Nirvana fan. Huge Nirvana fan. I was like, yeah. there's no way we're not going to the show. So, I got to, like, got to find out. Like, did you, you guys get into music and then... Nirvana happened, or did you think, I want to learn music to play Nirvana music? For me, uh, I started playing guitar after I was already into Nirvana, Nirvana's music. Okay, so I, it I was got, like an inspiration? <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. I pretty much listened to hip-hop all the way up until I started listening to Nirvana and Aerosmith. That sounds about right for a lot of people. A lot of people but, don't know this, but Clayton's actually a championship great dancer. Yeah, true. Oh, correct. If you have a piece of cardboard, no. he will... <laughs> He will, <laughs> I was he like, will break that. down. <laughs> it's like really. He's a pop. He's a popper in the locker room. <laughs> no particular order either. Champagne. So, so what does everybody play? I play guitar and sing. Okay. My name's Clayton. Hi, the internet world. I play French horn. <laughs> French horn. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Ryan, and I play the bass guitar. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Now I. The uh, so how like how did y'all meet? Did y'all just like magically, you know, pop out of a pod together? Is there a magic together? story behind the way you met? Is it real soon? Um, <laughs> it's actually the sweetest thing you ever got here. It's unbelievably sweet. Um, we're we're all from somewhat around Orlando, Florida, and at one point we all three of us were very active in the Orlando, Florida local music scene. The bands are coming up. Um, Will actually had a, uh, the first successful band there called Scrape. The, the second one, in my opinion, happened to be Clayton's band, Worm. And I'm just never in any band worth shit. Thanks a lot. Bro. <laughs> 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 but, um, so, so I ended up playing with Clayton a lot, and I met Clayton through that. And uh, I guess, you know, you had a lot of success with your band as well. Did you want to say what that is? I actually forgot how I met. Until you just said that. <laughs> that was great. The first time I ever met Clayton, it was at the House of Blues. Oh, yeah. And he looks, he walks up and goes, hey, what's up? And grabs a girl and starts making out with her. All right. <laughs> off, the, off the record. That's great. That, that's off the now record. that's on the record. Yeah, that's on the record. It's on the record now. Wow. But yeah, so Clayton and I became buddies. And I always thought that he had a certain swagger about him. And it was very uh, similar to Kurt Cobain. And I, I said to him, hey, man, let's start a Nirvana tribute band. And his response to me was, I am Nirvana. <laughs> and I was like, okay, maybe we uh, yeah. I know a lot about the band. <clears throat> and that only took me one year to put the band together with him. So, so ever since then, um, obviously people really miss grunge and they really miss Nirvana. Yeah. They really yeah. miss Kurt Cobain and uh, the emotions and the nostalgia that are tied to these songs now. It's different even than it was in 1993 because... You know, people that were jiving on it in 1993 are bringing their kids. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, we, we, we've been a lot of people's first concert, a lot of, a lot of kids' first concerts. It was really cool. Yeah. Y'all, uh, like, were y'all, either in any of y'all, y'all are old enough to be fans when Kurt was still alive, right? Mm -hmm. I became a fan after. I did too. That's why I was asking, because yeah. I was, uh, I became a fan of his in September of 94. If oh, I, just, just missed I was just born then. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's the big. Yeah, my uh, yeah, my cousin had actually Wait, bought. Please, the French horn. And... <laughs> Picked it up out of the womb. It was very natural. <laughs> you for real play the French horn? Or is that... no. Okay, I mean, I, I, you gotta have to ask. You have to ask. You Just hit the drums a time or two. Okay. A few times. Oh, okay. In so my mere twenty-four years. You're you're the you're the drummer that doesn't talk. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. He talks. <laughs> Did you do this now? Like, so you do this? Yeah. It's like that one scene in every James Bond Bob movie where Silent Bob speaks. Yeah. And he gives a rant. He's just doing that right now. Just let him get it out of me. Get it out of the oh. system. It's real. We'll go back to normal. 
Thank God you guys know who James and Bob are. That makes this so much more pleasant. Great. You're ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right. It's like, wow, they do like nerd stuff. Yeah, I'm probably, like, I like nerd stuff. Like, it was just was shot in the dark, really, you know. It's like I was, my, yeah, I, I'd say the biggest nerd in the band would probably be Clay. Okay. Well, I've tried to explain to Lonnie that music is a fandom. Yeah, yeah. Music nerds are a thing. Yeah, That's why yeah. these are important. <laughs> I'm all the one posting the music stuff on the page because I'm like, oh, this we is the thing. Definitely Nirvana nerds. Yeah. Right. But, I read like every book there is. Yeah, he's a Nirvana nerd for sure. He's mm -hmm. quite. As you Call can. me a nerd again, man. I kind of like it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Say nerd all night. <laughs> nerd. I'm assuming nerd. You've, uh, you've probably read journals cover to cover. I have. How many times? <laughs> quite a few. I mean, that was like reading material when I was like, I would fall asleep to it all the time. I read Courtney Love's journals too. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing either. Yeah, what's it called? Um, but all parts I think is what it's called. But it's uh yeah, it's it's basically the exact same thing as, as his. It's just her kind of side of the story. Okay. We've stopped mentioning Courtney Love during shows. We used to mention her. Oh jeez. And oh, it was just it just got a lot of booze and yeah. and it made some people very angry that people were booing. It's, yeah, it's a it's sensitive subject true, yeah. and we're not going there anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was actually Funny, yeah. I, I, on the way over here, I was like, should I bring this up? And they're like, no, shut up, quit talking. And I was like, okay. Yeah, we don't want Courtney Love to hate us either. We, that's what we definitely don't want. We love you, Courtney. Well, Kurt, Kurt loved Courtney very much, so. Yeah. yeah. Have y'all? We don't want to bring the hate, you know? Yeah. Have y'all ever, like, have y'all ever met her by chance? I've never heard of her before. Okay. Oh, cool. That's really cool. Uh, under, I didn't even know that. Met her twice. What? News flash, breaking news at the bottom of the screen. Tell us the first time you met her, bud. She was actually she was staying in a hotel in Texas, and I was playing South by Southwest. And my buddy had hooked me up at the hotel room, and he was like, dude, Courtney Love's staying there. And she had him, he was like a concierge, and she had him like go get, him, get her drugs and stuff. And she was doing great in the room. So. Wow. <laughs> and he brought me in, and she's like, she's like, you want to be in the music industry? She's like, there's no room at the end, man. You got to make room at the end. She's just yelling. She's all messed up. Yeah, so it's like she's off her rocker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what was wow. that? So she looks like she's getting kind of... Um, together? Kind of more together, yeah. I oh. follow her on Instagram. She looks, she looks nice. Was, it, was this like recent? Or? No, this was like 2013 or 14. Well, I mean, I was thinking like, you know, late 90s, early 2000s, something like that when you, mm -hmm. when you were telling the story. Um, wow, that's, that's, that's probably the coolest thing anybody's ever said on the channel. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. That was he a pretty cool, cool story. Was yeah, we, <laughs> cool. Yeah, we, he's cool. cool. Yeah. Yes. He's comparing yeah. contrast. What? That's our muscles. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. I'm not. Uh, I'm wrestling makes me pee in closets. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even want to know. Oh, you're going to show me a picture. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As long as it's not video, I'm good. Oh. Um, so, I, like, real quick, everybody's favorite Nirvana song. Oh, yeah. Oh. To perform. Jeez. Oh, well, okay, yeah. Yes. Let's make it a two-part. Um, I want to know. <laughs> okay. Then my favorite Nirvana song would be Francis Farmer Will Have a Revenge on Seattle. My favorite song to play would probably be Lithium because that would be Ghost Notes for it. Um, it's, a, it's, a good, it's a good bouncer. You yeah. Know? Okay. He jumps up and down. It's like almost the same kind of good night for me. <clears throat> and where did you sleep last night? But that's not a Nirvana song. It's a cover. Yeah. I, definitely, well, I definitely like Lithium too. Lithium's definitely, uh, in my opinion, the one that gets people jumping and going. They love the chorus. Yeah. It's, it's, really, it's, it's yeah. really hard to remember the it's, words. Yeah. You know? <laughs> hey, do what's you remember the, the, uh, what's the second song on the set? Dream You? Nope, that's the third song. Oh, Come you know As You Are? Who? Come As You Are? No, you're talking about You Know You're Right? Yes. That's a good one. <laughs> that's my favorite. No, I, Which I, one? I don't want to lie. How's it start? How's that one go? That's what he, that's what he gets for playing the French horn. <laughs> I know. Put the French horn down. <laughs> I'm working out my parts so. still. <laughs> I'm solidified in what I'm playing, I guess. Oh, my god. We'll goodness. get there, though. Yeah. We need song titles anyway. It's overrated. <laughs> right. I like whatever song I can step on the distortion pedal. 
I like when you step on Schwartz's pedal. I like, I like when I step on it. Are you using the course pedal? Yeah. Come on. Come as you, Come as you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should use it the whole night. You should. Clayton, so um, we like to move around a lot. Maybe we might maybe do it too much, but it's entertaining. And the other night, Clayton's rolling around on the floor on my side of the stage and just starts turning all my knobs and hitting all oh, my <laughs> pedals. And I stopped and I just looked at him and I was like, fuck. In the middle, I'm going to do it every time now. You just looked at me with the straightest face. You went, and then got up and walked over and I was just like, what the hell? What was, what was that? That's great. Wow. <laughs> Meryl Manson did that. Meryl Manson got off the stage. His whole oh, he walked in front of house. He walked up to the front of the house and he cranked it up. And the sound guy like chopped it. That's a sound guy. That's a front of house nightmare, man. Can you imagine? Mm. I mean, I, he, he caught it quick enough that he, he just grabbed the master and pulled it down. The front of house guy, he probably saved the gear, but that could have ruined everything. That's crazy. Real bad. Wow. Like, I've never even bought then that was something that somebody would ever do. <laughs> it's like, yeah. You know it's going to be somebody will be him. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, did you know we have an original band? No. Oh, do tell. Really? You didn't know? No. This is great stuff. I didn't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I suck. I say, like that. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm yeah, that band that played drums. Oh, okay, not the French horn. Okay. Okay. I'm the French horn player. Now. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Switch it up. Got to, got to. He's so, holding down the horn. It's called Musical Chairs. And it's the name of the band. No. No. It's called, it's yeah. called Thirst. Okay. Thirst. Okay. Or thirsty. Yeah. You can check us out on Facebook at Thirst Rocks. Thirst Rocks. Instagram. Yeah. Instagram at Thirst Rocks. At Thirst Rocks. We'll be releasing music soon. We just recorded our uh, EP with David Bendith in New Jersey, who is one of our favorite performers and guys, or uh, producers, producers. Yeah. and guys, Good pair all around. Great with Benjamin. Killer job on our Yeah. We're super proud of it. That's awesome. It's an intense process. He's one of the best in the game. You know, we were up there for a while. Every day, it was, it was, it was, very, it was very awesome. David's a, a genius. Intimidating. Um, yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In, in his own in his own professional way, for sure. <laughs> Never yeah. been so intimidated by somebody that's five foot four. That's hilarious. <laughs> you know, when he puts his pants on one leg at a time. <laughs> Only difference is he makes gold records. Yep. Right. Uh, a really funny story is uh, the last night we recorded, we went to his house and we were just drinking scotch. You know, and uh, celebrating. I said, I said to him, I was like, hey, you know. David, how come you don't have any records around your house? And he's like, because I'm tired of them. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, all right. I'm like, all right. I go, all right. And then he looks at me and he goes, he goes, do you want to see what 100 platinum records looks like? And I was like, yeah, okay. So he takes me to his basement. Oh, God. And, oh, right. and I don't think anybody, I don't, there's not many people in the world that could do it, so what I'm about to tell you. I mean, like, so he walked into his basement, and there they are, laying up against the wall. Everywhere. Eight, like, nine thick, stacked up, this stuff. They're just, they're just everywhere. And he's grabbing them. And these are songs like, um, remember SR7, was it SR71, the, the fake plastic silver yeah. name, slowly driving me inside? Yeah. There it is. Holy crap. He's got the, the, <laughs> the, the, the Dumb and Dumber soundtrack and our Crash Test Dummies. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. Oh, that's yeah. his favorite. December 2nd, we're interviewing Crash Test Dummies in Charleston, West Virginia. Yeah, yeah that's right. David yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. mention David Bennett. Yeah, to talk about David Bennett. Tell him I say Thirst sent you. Yeah, Thirst. Original man's again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thirst sent me. Yeah, so he goes, so the, the, the you know, the, the funny part of the story is you know, he's looking there, you know, and he, he's probably all the memories he has and he's saying, he's making this, there's so many. He goes, you know what I do sometimes? Oh, God. For therapy? And I'm like, what? He goes, I'll take one of these and I'll bash it in my backyard with a sledgehammer. <laughs> and I'm just like, the most rock and roll thing I've ever heard in my life. Yes, no, no. Probably because he doesn't want to throw a TV out of his window. Right, it's yeah. like you, you'd be surprised how fast they shatter. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is a great story. I love it. He's the it. man. That guy yeah. is great. Awesome. So we have these songs. We we did an EP. We have these songs, and uh, we're shopping it right now. 
and so we can't release it. So the time will come. Shopping it means sending it to labels. Yes, yeah. that's what I kind of thought. Yeah. So, oh my gosh, do we want to release it? But we've got to do that first. Yeah. You know, Absolutely. it's like holding a hot coal. You know what I mean? It's only makes it hotter. You know? Yes. It's a process. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to respect the process. So the Urbana works great in, in the interim, you know, we get to yeah. still play music for everybody and have great nights and play do what we love and play mm -hmm. be on stage together and grow out. Is this something like you guys make it with Thirst mm -hmm. and is it like Nirvana something that you're still planning on and keeping going or is that I think we'll always do it in some in some fashion, yeah. It's a good yeah. question. It's like one of those deals, even if you go off with Thirst and like do tours and stuff. Once you, you know, like you don't do Nirvana for a while, then you're like, oh, shit, yeah. let's get it back together. Yeah. Like, put it this way. Yeah. If if Thirst takes off, the only time you'll ever see us do Nirvana, and it might even only be once, might be on Halloween night, and it might be before Yeah, yeah. That'll be it. Yeah. Because you can't, you can't, you cannot legitimately do both. Yeah. That's why, yeah. Once you, once you become, a, once you're an original band, you have some kind of notoriety and success, you can't be like, <laughs> come see us be, you know, yeah. Nirvana. You know? Well, I think paying homage to the music that made you who you are something is kind of cool. Cedar did it cool. Cedar did it. Cedar played You Know You're Right in their box song. Who? Cool. <laughs> because I, I wouldn't tell you my plan on this. Is, <laughs> is this my beer? For God's sake. Right. It is now. <laughs> What I'm, what, what my plan is here is I'm gonna put that's this. That's exactly why I didn't wear a band shirt. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know. That's why I don't want to see the shirt on. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. And I <laughs> when I saw them, they were here. I've been looking at your boobs all night. No, it's How long ago? Um, 2015. They're at track 49. That's great. He's and they did see our box. Tour. You know they did? Mm -hmm. Wow, they, they, they played a lot of their own songs. Wow, cool. This is a show. Killer voice, man. We just. Played with them at uh, Earth Day birthday, and um, in Orlando, Florida, and it sounded great. Mm -hmm. it's game. I was in a band called Darby Day, and uh, the guitar player in Darby Day is Clint Lowry. He was the guitar player in the Seven Dust, mm -hmm. and then the other guitar player in Darby Day is Troy Baldwin, who's in Evanescence with me. Nice. And then the bass player is Corey Lowry, who was in Seven Mojo with me and Darby Day, and. When Evanescence went on a break, Troy went and played with Cedar for several years, four years. And then they had a falling out, whatever, he left. And then about two years ago, Clint played with Cedar for about a year. And then he went back to Seven Dust. And now Corey is playing with Cedar. So Cedar has taken every string player from Dark Day. Yeah, that seems that way. Do they need a fresh horn? Call up for the horn. I'm waiting on my call, man. Sean, you're listening. I'm ready to come play French horn for you. I'll play it like a beast. I think it's the same thing. You just don't even know what you're missing, bro. Blowing all that thing. I'll play drums for you. There you go. Yeah, because see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this like tomorrow. It's going to be like Nirvana on One Time Third Network. And then when y'all make it big, I'm going to like re release the interview. It'll be great. It'll be even better. Yeah, <laughs> under a different <laughs> band name. I like where your head's at. You said, when are we making it big? Yeah. Oh, yeah, when? Yeah, yeah I, never, I never doubt. Like, That's a good idea. We, we have high hopes. hopes. You know, we have yeah. high hopes. I'm going to get under training. Okay. Yeah. yeah, the word if is, is rough. Uh -huh. When is, is that's not. If it means you're yes, not convinced. <laughs> No, 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 because it, it seems like everybody we interview explodes in popularity. Wow. Yeah. It, it happened to Rumors last night. I time love this. Uh, yes! <laughs> Come on. Yes. The bucket It's head. a bucket. Yeah. Oh. yeah. It's a bucket, baby. I'm too young for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Back in the day, Pizza Hut, if you read a book when you were in like elementary school, they would give you a free pizza if you read a book. You said, "Read a little." Book. Yeah, it's like give you that. Yeah. See these, it see these, uh, That's a pizza. Hut. Stars here. Yeah. See these stars? They pizza. give you like a little sticker for pizza. reading a book. And once yeah. you fill one, two, three, four, five yeah. up, you can take this to freaking Pizza Hut. They would give you a little personal pan pizza. So you never got a pizza again. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I almost did. Yes. Well, 
when I was like seven, I seen stickers. Well, I know when I was seven or eight years old, way back in the early nineties, they had uh, they had these, and of course, as most kids do, mine disappeared. I was at a yard sale about mm. three years ago, oh, wow. and it th- there was in a box, and I, I walk up with a twenty dollar bill in my hand because I'm willing to pay that for this, and I'm like, hey, what would you like for uh, this book? At Fifty cents. I was like, damn. <laughs> Let me see if I got some change. Can I be honest with you? When I was a kid, and I feel bad about it, I I, I look back and I I totally fibbed the book at challenge. I totally like made up some shit about reading the book, and I got a free personal pan pizza. Yeah, me too. I did the same shit. Jesus, I read the hell out of some books. I I did. did, did, That was my that was my (laughs) first and only lie. That was the only time I've ever lied. (laughs) Yeah, mine too, but... No, this is, <laughs> this is messed up. Whenever you tell a story about you being a kid, mm-hmm. I see you being about this tall yep. with your head with a hat on. Yes, she is. Like you Same are now. You. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had a big head. <laughs> when I had a huge head when I was a kid. I, was, I was a With a goatee and long hair. And fuck you, what? Ass. That's, big ass. I had a big ass. I had a big, big ass. ass. <laughs> 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 you beat me to it. I had a big ass and a big head when I was a kid. Oh, God. Kind of look like Tyrion from Game of Thrones. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, that's what I do. I drink. I drink and know things. Yeah, yes. a yeah. That's yeah. what I do. A chalice. Of God, I need God Almighty. Next time you guys come to town, we're gonna have to like do like a. We're gonna have to get together like. Yeah. With, with pizza or something. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. just yeah. kind of hang out and talk. Oh, yeah. 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 No, in our fifth interview. In our fifth yeah. interview. Yeah. 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 You, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know how bad I wanted to be a for a personal band. Could you still redeem that at a pizza hut? No. Well, that might be one of those like my, Twitter my, PR things. Yeah. 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 Look, I got that my That would go so viral. If you filled that up and you were like, I've read these books. <laughs> oh my god, that's like a freaking It took me this long. It took me this long. It took me this long. I finally did it. I deserve two personal pants. Let's be honest. Let's do it. That would be. You might get Pizza Hut for life, dude. That'd be, well, that'd be a funny video. That'd be a great video. video. That would be Document a hilarious video. And we freaking, like, it happened here, everybody. We become a viral sensation because we're hot right now. Include us in the Pizza Party. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, I like pepperoni. Maybe oh. some sausage. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I actually worked at a pizza hut one time. I'm sorry. I worked at a pizza hut. Oh, uh, yeah. That sounds awful. Well, nothing came after that, so I'm assuming yeah. it wasn't. I? No. <laughs> worked at a pizza hut. <laughs> <laughs> and now look at him. Yeah. What's your fondest memory of pizza hut? Oh my god, I was hoping you weren't going to double down. The day that came out with the stuff for us, this is my fondest memory. So, my fondest memory was, was uh, I worked with my, my childhood best friend there, and there was a manager who was a girl who was two years older than us, and she was really pretty. And uh, we uh, we closed the Pizza Hut up one time, and we, were, we somehow ended up playing like strip blackjack. Of course y'all did. <laughs> in the Pizza Hut. In the, in the Pizza Hut. And okay, I gotta be honest here, guys, I fibbed. <laughs> and um, I, me and my buddy had aces in her socks and tennis. <laughs> and it was, it was just boop, 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 boop. Oh, we win. You know, we win. And uh, that, I'm not going to go any further. Because it probably felt like the right? Was <laughs> no, it was, I was like 16 or 17. Yeah, I was so innocent. With the aces in your socks. Yeah, but an ace in my socks. That's the most innocent story we've ever told here. an ace that's awesome. What does that mean? Probably, yeah. Uh, we have five minutes. I gotta be honest. <laughs> Are you cutting uh, us off already? No, I'm not trying to cut y'all off. I have to cut them off. What is your <laughs> favorite? What is your favorite? What is your number one Nirvana Nirvana experience so far? Are you interviewing oh, me? Yeah, I would yes. like to know. Because <laughs> I, I would like to know. Um, We've been at it. Never been on the spot. Um, <laughs> I think uh, when we did 
unplug at the social in Orlando. Like, like, oh, oh God, that was awesome. Oh, oh, we did everything. We had, we had guys come out with some meat puppets. We had a cellist. We, we played accordion. Wow. We did I'm every so single detail of the show. show. And it was so cool because everybody that was there knew every word. They knew all the banter in between. And we did all of it. I would too. Wow. Like, I even know. They were, like, they were yelling the things that he said in between songs <laughs> as I was saying them. And I was like, this is what doing this tribute's all about. Like if you if you're in a tribute band, you're tribute you're doing a tribute to specific music and people are that passionate about it, like that's why that's what you want to go to. Yeah, like what what's the song that I always do the feedback on the second <clears throat> chorus? But anyway, like I, I know that freaking album so well that I can tell you the when the bike feeds so back. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah and I'm like yeah, like I, I, I not only will sing along to the song, but I will also like. Eee. Yeah, every time. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. We, how you, I feel like I know that. I know that much. We had the exact same chords. We uh, built a guitar to imitate the Buck Owens American Red, White, and Blue. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah, we did everything Sorry. absolutely okay. exactly. Are y'all ever gonna do this again? Uh, we we have the, we have that pet, pet smear flew in. Yeah, we had a pet smear. <laughs> uh, we had the meat puppets come up. They they did a great job. I need to see this. Right. Yeah, it's out there. It, was, it was really cool. It was it was super cool. We had a very good you got I, oh god. Like I'm Yeah. The freaking sparks are going in my head right now. Okay. Like nah, like I'm I'm gonna throw this out there to y'all. Don't don't answer or anything. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna put you on the spot. But we do all the time we do like uh like fundraiser shows and stuff or local animal shelter. Mm -hmm. It would be awesome to do an unplugged for like the animal shelter at some Oh point God, that'd something. be amazing. Because right. I've been I've been tossing around. I've got like three bands lined up wanting to do something like that, and I'm just like, God, people would yeah really that would bring be in like, the donations for that. Like they really would. Yeah, but anyway, like I, I, I'll keep in touch with. Them. <laughs> I, I don't like to throw like somebody up. Like, I'm like, hey, <laughs> I was like, I'll have my people call your people. We, yeah, we yeah. love the animals. So, but uh, yeah, people. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we're gonna have people, Will. We're gonna right, have right, Yeah, right. y'all will. Remember, he will make it. Right. Um, so, By the way, his name, Will, yeah. is the opposite of won't. Let's, okay. uh, let's document that. Yes. I knew let's that, document. but I didn't know if that applied to you or not. Oh. I'm actually am the only person we're gonna meet that has a true exact opposite to their name. Okay. Won't. Well, right. Yep, but you won't. Won't fish. <laughs> <laughs> he, won't, he just won't. <laughs> Don't ask me to. Oh, so if you go and you look at the Black Label video for uh, Overlord, my character on a samurai sword throwing game is Will Hunt and Will Fish. That do, but do you fish? I do not. Okay. See, you yeah. see, <laughs> because that's why. You I do. That's why. I do. Not a lot. I do. Not. I do. I do. I do like we're, we're getting into like some weird, weird wordplay here. Oh, it's before, really throwing you for like, too. <laughs> like spoiler alert for me, but uh, nope, what, what can we expect? Spoilers. What can we expect? Yeah, oh, fucking bitch in a French horn solo. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what I came for. It's it's not kidding. We're gonna play no Nirvana songs tonight. That's what you should expect. That's, that's probably gonna play all the like jam. Like a pro people, pro. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna play guessing. all screaming to trees and yeah. everything but Nirvana. <laughs> It'll be like where. Uh, we're today we're doing this for new trees for you. Okay. Uh, you'll see, you'll see um, a lot of energy. Yeah. Let's get romantic. I was thinking like we're Andy Kaufman and Brad Gatsby instead of doing the stand up. Oh yeah, that's it. Is that what we're shooting for tonight? <laughs> Pretty much, very abstract. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so Andy Kaufman did. Oh, really? <laughs> good movie. Good movie. That was a good movie. I like. I, I just. I want to lie. You guys like Jim Carrey? Huh? I yes. love him. Yeah. Yeah. Never interviewed him, but I like him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Goals. You gotta have goals. I think it's important to like Jim Carrey. You're either a Jim Carrey or a Will Ferrell guy. No. You don't have to be no. Orange. You know, you know, be I, I love Will Ferrell. I do too. Like, I think Will Ferrell's stupid, but I love his work. Every time that I watch I him do something, <laughs> I'm like, God, you're so funny. He's so funny. It's, it's like ridiculous. Mm. Like, I'll, I'll go to you. He's like the Eminem of. Comedic actors, right now. Yeah, right now. Yes. Like, like the funniest thing he's ever done was like white dog shit. Who? You're I don't know ridiculous. Will Ferrell. I've never, never heard of that. Am I? Am Step I, Brothers. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
And I'm telling you, man, like that's my worst nightmare. A bunch yeah. of kids attack me and hold me down to make me look dumb. That's that, that is Lonnie's worst nightmare. I, I wake up a cold <laughs> sweat after watching When that. a dog poop does turn white is the weirdest thing on earth. <laughs> <laughs> dog poops turns into bird poops. You know why it does that, right? No. 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 The, the massive box. amounts of calcium. And no, whenever the turd bleaches, this interview is going to shit. She just said. Anyway, we're like, like y'all want to keep going, or I mean, we're we're about at the stop. I think out. ending it on the on the white dog turd is pretty good spot. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. It went shit. <laughs> Literally. Anyway, I, I really really appreciate <laughs> you guys. Just you guys are like, give us one more question. One more, one more question. question. Yeah. We have to end on the dog poop. Um, <laughs> right. Okay, okay, I got it. Uh, y'all familiar with Marvel movies? No, I'm not going to do that. That's, that's it. it. That was going to be really all colored. <laughs> um, let's keep it, let's have, it, let's keep it colorful. What, what, color, what color was it? No, I, I, got, <laughs> I, I, I got you. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Okay, okay you got it. Y'all watch Marvel movies, right? The MCU? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What's okay, your you, favorite? You're aware of uh, Captain, Captain Marvel? The new Captain Marvel, Brie Larson? Yeah, he's a female. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, Scarlet Witch. Nah. What are we? we are we thinking between people? Yes. No, I'm just I'm coming up. I know what you're gonna do. No, yeah. Keep going. I don't know Scarlet. You know, Scarlet Witch. Okay. You know who? You know no. the, the Black Widow. Russian. Black Widow. Mm -hmm. no. You know Black Widow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Pepper Potts. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I, know, so I knew exactly. Since he said I need three names, I was like, okay. I you gotta have sex in one. You gotta marry one. Then you gotta kill one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Let's, let's, let's make this. I didn't know that Richard Petty was a girl. That's Stan Lee, dude. That's Richard Petty, dude. It, it does look like Richard Petty. It does look like Richard Petty. It does look like Richard Petty. I'm never going to be able to see that. He's a free car. Is that who Richard Petty was? That's why I never told him that. Let's do this. Let's do this. Thor, Captain America, Iron Man. Fuck Mary Field. Jeez. <laughs> okay. You know who they are. You know what? I no. can't. Iron Man would, not, Iron not, Man would wear you. Iron Man would wear you. I can answer this. Right. I was like, I can answer this. I don't, I don't want to have sex yeah. with anything iron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh boy. Sorry, Tommy, you're dead. Okay. The Iron, Iron Man. Man. What were they again? Iron Man. Iron Man, Thor, Captain America. <laughs> I mean, uh, I think. If they were chicks, I'm assuming it's. We can put it in that. No, I, I really no, think. No, no, no. Come on. I, I really think Captain America would appreciate oh, you more, really? so he'd be more of a Mary. Yeah, I'd marry him too. I'm playing Thor, Thor's Thor's blonde, so I play good with that. Huh? What are you doing? I mean, we're still doing the interview, but it's a very <laughs> informal affair. No, I didn't know. I mean, we're sitting here playing hey, Fuck Mary Kills. Very jerk. I just wanted to get you, but. Hey, Fitty. Yes, you asked him to turn the heat on, man. Like, it is on. Where? <laughs> so, not not down in Florida, here. and it's cold up here. I think it's not on. Let me get Lisa. <laughs> Tell her to turn that, turn that shit up. Anything else can I do for you cats? Tell Walt's fish is getting chilly. <laughs> this is not my natural habitat. I need like a uh, a human heat rock, like for a well, lizard. A human heat rock. We need it's a space heater or something. I feel like something. Fish, fishing is definitely not the opposite of hunting. Oh, God. The opposite of hunting would have to be like saving something. Oh, save it's like you're like won't save. Catch a bullet. Or yeah. Won't save. <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't roll off the tongue. I don't like that. No. Won't is definitely I mean, the Won't is the fish. opposite of will. Fishing's kinda of hunting though. Kind of Google. Google. Opposite okay. hunt. I like won't save. It's really See what comes up. Great. I have a new tender like. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> He's moving up. Jeez. Success has its spoils. <laughs> Just one line. <laughs> one line. Only one. one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, only at the top. What is going on? Um. We would like to uh, thank Gather. Uh, Stone, that actually, yeah. Stonehold yeah. Fox Gather is the for opening up tonight. You Those guys are awesome dudes. And fruits and Vegetables, you gather those. Gather. Evade, let go, halt, leave alone, ignore. You won't ignore. Won't yeah. ignore. <laughs> Free, liberate, lead, stop, neglect. Stop. Answer, reply, find, rush. Flee, 
Won't flee. Won't flee. Won't flee. Yep. <laughs> Good to know. Won't flee. Good to know. <laughs> On Trump today, we have won't flee. Won't flee. <laughs> if he does flee and you find him, return him to Nirvana, please. We <laughs> <laughs> should, too. Are y'all going to do another show tomorrow? Please, God, no. You're not? Okay. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I saw, like, two days in a row. No, it's because we were, we were in Nashville last night. night. Yeah. <clears throat> Nashville okay. was awesome last night. If Chattanooga can bring Thank it like you, that, Nashville. we will be just ecstatic with this little run. Hard. Got up again. Well, last time we were here, we had a really good time. Yeah, it's a great, it's a great venue. Songbirds it's is just unbelievable. Yeah, it's so whenever we come yeah. out, I, I do. I love concerts here. And Except Will's like, whenever we leave here, I'm gonna try to like elbow and freeze. fight my way to the front row. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel bad for the people in the front row because I just sweat all over them. Sometimes they don't care. Sometimes they do. <laughs> Well, that's what I'll Ryan do. So I'll be like, y'all don't want to be up here. He's going to sweat all over you. Thanks, nerd. Sweaty Italian. Sweaty Italian with a big that's head and a big butt. It looks like Tyrion from Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> with the chaps. So we're oh, drinking, man. you know things. Yeah, that's so fucking funny, man. I'm laughing on that for a <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stand like this interview room. and give him a roast. <laughs> let's, yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. I'm roast. I'm right. I am I'm roast. <laughs> this is the official UNN roast. Oh man, I, I would. I like the UNN. That's nice. Oh. It's got a good role to it. It does. It happened on last. Oh yeah. You know, you want you know like how we came up with that? We were sitting around for about two days trying to come up with a name. Couldn't come up with it. I was like, shit. Let's just call it Untitled. <laughs> it stuck. <laughs> it happened quite on accident. So. But you'll remember. Untitled Nerd Network. Untitled Nerd Network, that's us. Well, that, uh, it, 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 you're watching Untitled Nerd Network. We are Nirvana, tribute to Nirvana. By hey, let's, let's yes. do like a quick separate video after I get done with this. Are y'all just doing that? That would be great. Yeah. Would be I thought it was an awesome interview. Well, thank you. It I was a great time. It was just us sitting around shooting shit. But that's how we all. Call it like you see it. <laughs> It was an honor to play. All right. Clayton, I hope, I hope everything goes good. <laughs> anyway, we're a uh, time for network uh, brought to you by Infinity Flux. And, oh, your local Satanist. The story behind that is, have you ever heard of Satan? It's a plant-based meat substitute. Oh, yeah. S-C-I-T. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We have a really good friend of ours who has yeah, a local business. That. Yeah. Your local Satanist. She has a lot of plant-based yes. vegan <laughs> options. <laughs> And, uh, I thought Satan tasted a little like it came out of the wrong end of like a raccoon. Wow. Uh, they you haven't like had it done right. right. Yeah, you've not had it done right. <laughs> it can taste kind of chickeny. I mean, I've had it before. Because yeah, like Satan is like any regular meat. You're going to get varying degrees of crappiness or goodness. I think I just got mine up there. Yeah. But go to her store too. Oh. <laughs> Blair, we uh, uh, <laughs> on that note, I'm uh, seeking, I'm seeking heat. Thank you, everybody, for uh, joining us. And uh, again, two thirds of Nirvana. Yes. <laughs> well, Peace out, guys. See you. Thank you. Thank you.